Nothing. Uh, this has got to give Cedar High some really, really good confidence going into the first half of their first region game for the year. we got to run down that offensive line. They're giving Jeff all sorts of time. Good hold that time for Gower to run through. Oliverson straight drop back, looking for Bonner in the corner. They're going to throw it out to him. Junior makes an adjustment, can't come up with it incomplete. Penalty flags down at the line. i got to say hold. Yeah, it's got to be. It usually is. But on that left side, then uh, another good job for the Redmen. Double slot one way and the other as Hanson and Bonner is left side. Play fake to Gower. Oliverson throwing for Junior over his head. Incomplete poor throw. Clarifies. This time the Redmond will come slot to the right side. Bonner will go that direction. Griffin in a wing. Solo left is Platt. Got to think that's where it's going to go. Oh. That movement fix will be good right now. Same formation. Plot to the right side, Platt to the left side. I like the matchup one more time, Frainer and Platt. Frainer will back off, as will Diaz. Straight drop back for Alderson, looking for Platt down the seam. A little bit late, floats the ball into the end zone. Up for grabs, and it's come down with who? A interception? No, out of bounds for the Flyers, number 18. Who was the point six? Third down and 30. At least what the scoreboard has. I think it's 25. You would. I would, just to be obnoxious. Double wing formation, Bonner in motion. Straight drop back for Oliverson. Setting up some sort of screen. It looks like he'll scramble to the right side. Bonner's open, throws it to him. Good play by the Dixie man. He stayed with Junior, got a hand on it. That is number 18, Wilson. Great, that will be the wide man. Off to the right side, I believe that was uh, 83, Cole Nelson. Oliverson straight drop back, a loft at four flat, down to the end zone. Trainer is there out of the end zone. That's the quarter, and that's the halftime mark. It's 14 nothing Redmond over the Flyers. We'll be back in two minutes here on Talk Radio for bringing a lot of people up as Andrew's been content to squib it down into a soft spot. Robbie Diaz is deep. Another squibber down the middle. It takes a bounce. Frainer will come up with it off his chest at the 25. He'll veer to the left side and slip a tackle, but Jesse Griffin right there to bring him down. First and 10 Flyers at the 26. Jesse Griffin there to James Platt shows up for a little part of the fun. And uh, some great uh, effort there. Brian Fink also. That is number 68, Mac Urie. And Cam Romney, the other defensive end. They'll go three, two linebackers and four secondary people. Actually, five secondary people as the Flyers will go shotgun formation. Gist time, give oh, it to oh, back. Oh, oh. Nowhere to go. Oh, Guess who? Burke Blackner and Mike Gower. Great play, Burke Blackner. Oh, man. Fabulous read by Blackner. He scores through on the left side. And the, the Dixie High Flyers tried something a little misdirection as Horlocker was in the shotgun, but uh, Beck was coming from that big offensive line. Double slot formation, slot to the left, slot to the right, deep uh, backfield, one receiver. Horlocker under pressure on the money to bowler the tight end. He's going to pick up about 14 plus three. How many, Tim? i got to say about 16. 16, we'll call it. Bowler, a great catch, and I got to give Horlocker a little credit there because he has really had a lot of pressure tonight, and he had some pressure on that. Ferguson to the right, double slot with Bowler and Diaz off to the left side. Shotgun formation for Horlocker. Griffin showing blitz. He'll come in the face. They'll throw it out to Torgerson and Junior Bonner right there. It is a complete market, a one-yard completion, yeah. and it's second to came away with oh. a shootout win. Double slot to the left, one receiver right, that's Torgerson. Adams wide to the left. Straight drop back for Horlocker, looking down the field, he'll air it out, Tor- Adams is there. Ball is caught, it's inbounds on an inside pattern, throws it to the air. Adams will come to the right side, Torgerson to the left side, slots both ways. Beck is the lone running back, play action, throw it out for Adams. Timing pattern in the corner, he makes the reception, touchdown, Flyers. 17-yard pass play. They just throw it out in the flat. And Tim, I hate to tell you this, number 19 is down for the Redmen. Don't hear about it. Yeah, baby, Brad's boot hot in Cedar City. Dave Horlocker, number 10, on to kick this uh, opening kickoff. Well, it's not the opening, but the set first kick for the Flyers here, second half. End over end kick. It'll settle down to Griffin inside the 10. He'll veer to the right side, looking for a seam. He'll step up through the middle, has a little running, running room. Out over the 30-yard line. Look at this. Look at this. Who's trotting out of the field? Well, Jeff Oliverson. Looking for the outside. 
He has one man to beat. He's not going to do it. It was bottled up inside, and then they just kept going around the corner. Penalty flags out at the end. Well, it's either going to be on one of the Fisher boys, number 69, or Cam Romney. Those guys were jogging, knocking each other away. Yeah. It goes on the Flyers. 15-yard personal foul, which for the Redmond is good, especially if that's a... Hopefully it's from the line of scrimmage yeah. because Jesse did lose what appears to be about, uh, what, seven or eight? Seven, so uh, at the very least they're going to get much better field position. Yes. Uh, the Flyers pick up their fourth penalty. They have been tagged for uh, uh, 50 yards tonight, 55 yards tonight. So Jesse will lose. we got to call it lose, loss of seven and then won't march off the 15 yards. So not quite enough for the first down. But they only got uh, three to go, and it, 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 it yeah. becomes second down. I think it at the Redmond 39. So I want to say lucky, but I was looking for another word. Good thing, good fortune for the Redmond. More two of them. Okay. Oliverson on the option. He'll step up inside. Has the first down. Yeah, he's hurt. <laughs> yeah, he's hurt real bad. To the hole. Wishbone formation, Bonner and Griffin in at the tailback, scour the fullback. Going to come to a toss to Griffin to the left side. He'll bounce to the inside, no room there, as he's hit one, maybe, second down and nine. Spread option, Hanson wide to the right side. Give it to Jesse on a sweep. Griffin has the corner turn. He's bumped out of bounds near the 45. He will get the first down. That's a great run, good block as Griffin will pick up. Looks like 10. Got to give him 10. Got to give him 10. Bonner and Griffin on wings. Wide to the right side is Platt. Gower the lone running back at pullback. Going to give on mixed direction. No fake it. Alderson back to throw looking for Romney. Romney and number 18. That is Brian Wilson locked up. It almost looks like Wilson might have come up with it. The officials call incomplete, second and ten. Well, I think Wilson was a little bit closer to the ball. In fact, he kind of went down with Romney on his back. And I didn't know the Beach Boys were still playing high school football. <laughs> well, if I can request in the God of Davida, you can give a I Beach Boys show. Boy. I uh, expected a slug coming back <laughs> from this radio. Still like that outside matchup, 5-9 against 6-5. Bonner in motion. Alderson straight drop back. Dump it out to Junior in the flat. Junior on the individual move. Slips the tackle down the sideline. He'll pick up the first down. Great little dump off. And then 10 at the 33. Look at how close Trainer and Plan are. Yes. That's amazing. Now off to the left. Three receivers right. Give it to Gower up the middle. Look, Jeff will keep it. He's not going to pick up much. Mega back to the line. Comes in. He will come out wide to the left. Sky wide Miller to the right. wide to the right. Bonner is in the slot. Griffin in a wing to the right side. Oliverson, straight drop back, quick drop back. Looks for Miller out in the flat. Skyler has a good block as Miller will pick up about eight. A nice play by the little guy. And a good block by Bonner in locking up on that defensive back. Yeah, and then the Skyler kind of jumped through there. And uh, actually, I thought he was going to slip out of Diaz's grasp for a few minutes or for a few seconds there, and uh, gets it up for a nice little game. Jeff completes his second pass of the half. Give him seven yards on the pickup, third and three. 5.20 to play in the third quarter. It's 14-7, Redmond on top. On four plays. Double wing formation. Griffin in motion, left to right. Give it to There's Gower, big, big hole Gower. through the, bow, the uh, line. Gower will pick up the first down near the 15-yard line. They'll spot it at the 15. So give him 10 on the pickup and a first down. And a 100-yard ground game for the big running back from senior high. Mike Gower is uh, 5'11", 200 pounds. This is his senior year for the Redmen. Tenth offensive play upcoming for the Redmen as they took over first and 10 at the Redmen 31. Good-looking drive here at the 15. Platt will go wide to the left. Griffin in a slot. I formation with Bonner deep in the eye. Go option, give it off to Gower. He'll bang off the uh, left side following Keith Gilbert and Big Bill Nelson. And Mike will pick up a few yards that way. Looks like about four. I'm calling it four. Well, you're marking it, buddy. <laughs> I'm writing it down. Yep. I just put down four. Four yards on the game. Second down and six. Redmond with the ball at the 12. You want to complain about it? Stand behind the tradeo crew. 
Yeah, I heard you were having some fun we this morning. We had a good time today, actually. High formation, Griffin in the slot. This time, Cole Nelson wide to the left side. Option left side, Oliverson will give it to Mike. He'll follow Gilbert one more time, and, Mike, and Keith just keeps going. What's up with that, I wonder? Uh, Fisher, one of the Fisher brothers was back there well after Jeff was out of the play and kind of threw him around. I'm going, okay. A third and a yard, just short. As they've got to get to the five, the ball is just outside the five. Do I hear ka-ching? Ka-ching? Well, I'll tell you what, I would give it to Mike one more time, or at least twice. High formation one more time. This time, give it to Mike running to the right side. Ka-ching. And he's near the goal line. I think the ball must have come out as the official on the far side was pointing. No, he was down. But Mike will pick up the first down. It'll be first and goal at the two. So we got to give Mike four on the running play. 13th first down. Good drive. This is what you want to do. Oh, You're yeah. running the football, and taking time off the yeah. clock, and answering the flyer score. And uh, that's what I wanted to mention. This play drive started with about eight minutes left, I think, so we've gotten over five. Well, the flyer scored at 9.31. It's oh. down to 2.50 to play. I formation. Give it to Mike. Mike says, hey, I'll try it. No signal yet. Maybe a yard, no more. We'll call it a yard. The action here on KSUB Talk Radio 590, KSUB Theater City. Redmond will spread the offense out, double wing formation, wide receiver Platt to the right side. Gower is the lone running back, Bonner in motion. Jeff O will just give it off to Mike Gower, touchdown for one out. Following, guess who, Tim? Keith Gilbert off the left side. And Gilbert and Nelson and uh, uh, Big Bill Nelson have been doing their job on the left side all uh, night tonight. And Gower is really making things happen. He uh, carries the ball six times on that series and uh, goes over for the money from a yard out 27 at 202 left in the third quarter. The Redmen are going to try the PAT. Andrew Hansen on to uh, try to kick the uh, point after out of the hold of Jeff Oliver. So a nice drive, as you mentioned, snap. He hooked it. Nope, dead straight through the middle. It's 21-7, 202 to play. We'll be back. The uh, running back number 22, That's Beck. J.D. Beck, he'll run it out to the uh, 35, maybe 36-yard line. Tim, it was a nice drive. The Redmen go 14 plays, 69 yards, Gower with the one-yard run, and that answers the five-play, 74-yard drive by their Flyers to open the second half. And a bunch of time. That's the nice thing about that. Now, of course, we saw the uh, Dixie Flyers score quick, but they, even if they do, they're still down, and they got to give the ball back to Cedar High. And Peter Hyde maybe runs off another one of those long, sustained drives for another seven. Mark it at the 34-yard line. Redmond took seven and a half minutes on that last drive. We'll hopefully see a big, tough uh, defensive effort here. It looks like we're going to get a... He was doing that uh, blitz, st storm it in there. Well, I think when you've got a big 315-pound uh, Scott Fisher here on the right side, you put some pressure. Griffin coming. Fisher moved a little bit early. Three receivers left, one to the right. Griffin showing blitz, he'll back back out. They're looking out in the flat. Gonna throw to Adams across the middle, catch. Yeah, that's... Unless this that's official will overrule it. They caught it. They ruled a catch. Actually, a pretty good effort there from Adams. He was again sliding down almost on his knee. So call it a completion for Horlocker. He's five of five and a half. 12 yards on that pass reception. Adams doing the damage for, for the receiver in the second half. Second down and three. Flyers come up, hurry up offense, no huddle, double slot with receivers both ways. Romney in some pressure. He throws it, does four locker out in the flat for number 16. Dustin Bowler incomplete, stops the clock. And for the Redmond 86, we don't have him as Oliverson will come out, obviously. Under center is four locker. He'll sprint to the right. Everybody running down and out. He's got Adams. If he can get him, he can't get him as Mike Gower was there. And then Brian Fink and Cam Romney clean up the mess and minus about eight on the play. It'll bring up fourth down. And again, the continuing woes of the Dixie High running game. That's their first run from scrimmage. It was a run from your life and minus eight. That puts them now at minus 39 yards on the ground tonight. That's not going to do much for you. Fourth and 11. Inside of a minute to play as Bonner and Platt will go back away the Horlocker kick, and Dixie's going to have to take a timeout, I thought. I thought I saw Horlocker signal. They do. It comes with three. We'll step aside for a minute. Break call timeout. The Redmen aren't buying that this is a kick. Horlocker will get a free one, so he just wails away. 
The ball will bounce at the 20, take his red right, mid roll up and get it into the end zone. Flyers, great job oh, covering yeah. as they will down it inside the five with 28 seconds Gotta to play. Got to give credit to uh, Mike and How Harward getting back there, <laughs> making sure it didn't get down to the end zone, but it kind of did die at about the three, four yard line. 75 yards, Jim on the kick with the roll for the Redmen. Who will give on an option. No, he'll keep the ball running around the left side. He'll get it out over the five. A little breathing room. And that should be the final play of the first half or third quarter of play. Give Jeff about five on the run. And it'll bring up second down and five. Down inside 10 seconds to go. Redman in no hurry to get the running play off. So, Will, that's the end of the third quarter. 21-7, Redman on top. We'll be back with the fourth. Yeah, okay. Second and five, Redman will break the wishbone, slot to the right side in motion. For the Redmond, they'll give it off to Gower. No surprise there. Michael banged to the right, bounced back to the left. He's near the first down. And, uh, Mike fits that mold perfectly. First and 10 for the Redmond. That is their 14th first down. Option to the left side. Oh, I think there. the ball came out, I believe. Nope. Second down. Slot both ways. Griffin and Platt in the mo. In, no, that's not Platt. Who's in the mo slot there? That's Trevor Page. So give uh, Oliverson will keep the play. Back to the right side. Penalty flags out. There's got to be a clip. Oliverson down the sideline. He's going to be bumped out of bounds near midfield, but there is a penalty back at the 20 yard line. They'll give. That'll come that's off. Is where that's going to go with the penalty. Well, they're calling it back. I think it's against Peter Heisman. Well, it's going to be, but you got to mark it off there at the spot. So you give Jeff seven, which is a weird way of doing it. But we'll do it anyway. We'll do it anyway. We we behind Cole Nelson and Junior Bonner in a slot to the left side. Gower, the line lone running back. Flyers will play no safety. Everybody up on the line of scrimmage, 11 guys within five yards. Play action inside, looking for Bonner. That was well, uh, the timing pattern just didn't set up. I still like taking a shot with everybody up. Get one oh, of those yeah. guys deep. Oh, 12. Fox stopped on the incompletion. 10, 40. Oh, that's a bad number. 10, 40? 10, 40. We hate that number. <laughs> Cedar's going to have to take a timeout. Obviously, a miscommunication on the play. So at 10, 40 to play is 21, 7. Redmond on top. We'll be back with that third and 12 play after these messages from our Redmond. Tim, it's third and 12. The Redmond will break that wishbone, send three receivers to the right. Bonner is in the slot. Blackner is on the wing. Platt wide to the left side. He'll join Skyler Miller. Blackner back in motion. They'll run a quick three-step drop. Looking for Bonner down across the seam. Bonner is there. Oh! Just overthrown him. Jeff just throws that thing up a little bit. Bonner runs under it. It's touchdown. Yeah. City incomplete fourth down. Well, about the goal line. But good pressure, end over end kick, drives uh, Diaz, Diaz deep to the 40. That's the flyer 40. He'll veer to the right side, stop, going to be brought down at the Redmond 48. Great kick by Hanson, 60 yards in total from where the, well, it wasn't that far because the spot was at the 10, but 50 yards on the run, a good return. The flyer's in business. First first and 10 flyers at the 48-yard line, 10 minutes to play in the ball game. Redmond lead by 21-7. Play action, oh, looking right. down the seam. He's got Adams. Adams is at the 30. He's tripped up at the 25. Scott Miller trips him up there, but a great catch by uh, Adams. And here's this uh, precision passing team that we've been hearing about from Dixie High. And they got a job. They got the job done on that one. Horlocker only missing one here in the second half. It's all been Adams, Adams, and more Adams. 23 yards on the pickup. Ninth first down. The Flyers will go with no uh, huddle. Shotgun formation, receivers both ways. Three to the right, one to the left. Torgerson will go. They'll get it off to Bauer. Or excuse me, that's not, that's Bowler. Incomplete right side. Shotgun, pump fake. Under pressure all as they get away. Griffin misses, but good coverage by Junior Bonner. Jesse had him in the backfield and... Nine thirty-eight to go, clock stop. Receivers both ways in slots for the Flyers. Shotgun for Horlocker. Straight drop back. Looking for Adams. Has him. Again, no, right, it hit the so. ground. Far side yeah. calls it no good. So it'll bring up fourth and 10 from the Redmond 25. Now the one thing that we did here on the near side of the field. As Adams will come solo. Torgerson in a slot to the right side. Two running backs this time for Horlocker. 
He'll go straight, drop back. Looking for Adams on a little give and go. They'll throw it down the sideline to Torgerson. Torgerson locked out up bounds, with Jesse out Griffin. Bounds. Out of bounds, the Redmen have held. Seven. Receivers both ways in slots for the Redmen. Cole Nelson is in the wide right, Hanson wide left. Give it to Gower up the middle left side. Tell you what, Cedar likes to run that way. you got to give credit. Well, Mac Urey and uh, Keith Gilbert off that left side. See, they like to run that way because it's gen generally successful. Another three-yard gain. Three-yard gain. And what Cedar would like to do, Tim, is do Good morning. But uh, they'll take him to the clinic, but apparently he's okay to play for the rest of the game. Three receivers to the right side, one to the left side. Blackner in motion. Give it off to Gower. Mike what through a, a hole. He's at the 40. If he stays on his feet, boys, that's a touchdown. He's tripped up first down at the 38-yard line. Give him 10 on the running play. That's the Redmen's 15th first down. Gower has carried the ball by time this half. Uh, zeroing in now on about 130, 140 yards. Got to like that uh, percentage, really. They've been, uh, what, third week in a row, Tim? Yeah. Double yeah. wing formation. Blackner and Bonner is in the wings. Wide to the right side is Nelson. Give it to Mike one more time. He won't go down. Plows forward for five or six. What give a, him six. Yeah. Nope, seven, Tim. Second down and three. I was ready to give him eight. We could. <laughs> but Gower gets it done. Jeff O completes two for four in this half. His passes go to uh, Bonner and to Miller. And I like this, too, because uh, this is taking time off the off the clock. And, of course, Dixie's going to see Gower, 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 and maybe another dose of Gower. And maybe you'll love them to sleep. Hanson wide to the left, Romney tight end right. Going to give to Bonner. Bonner Ooh. gets to the line of scrimmage, gets hit hard, loses a yard. It'll bring up third down and four. Ball game, Redmond lead 21-7. Wishbone formation one more time. Platt wide to the left side. Going to go option left, give it to Mike. Gower will bang for first down. The first down, yeah. We'll give him four. It's going to be near the 50. We'll see where they spot it. This is going to be a spot first down if it is. They're going to measure, measure that. That's pretty close. Nope, nope. first down. <laughs> they'll measure it for about a half a second. Uh, they, I guess those officials are from Uinta, man. They got good eyesight. <laughs> Looked across the way, so that ain't even close. <laughs> You're not uh, making any aspersions about the... Uh, refereeing crew we saw a couple weeks back, aren't you? You know, I thought they did a good job, but I've never seen a mark or bring the change on for a mark in two games up there at Uinta. Wishbone formation. Oliverson under center. They'll go option to the right side. Nope, give it just Jeff to Mike running ball. to the right side. He'll pick up five. Did the ball come out? Dixie signaling yes. I think the officials called it down. We will see. Dixie's not happy. Got to give Mike five on the running play, second and five. Now, you're a Cedar High alumnus. Yes, Those I are am. words you like to say, aren't is it? Dixie what? isn't happy. Well, you know what's really fun? Yeah, they're right. fighting each other, and so far, Cedar High has the upper hand. High formation. Bonner deep in the eye slot to the left side. Going to give to Gower. No, Oliverson keeps it. We'll oh, put his head up. He's going to lose a yard, maybe. Oliverson underneath center. Spray drop back. Looking for Miller on a fly pattern. Skyler's got a step man trip. Skyler's got the catch. He's brought down inside the five. Good play, Skyler Miller. Great play and a little help there from uh, the uh, defensive uh, back for uh, the, the Dixie Flyers. Actually, uh, the defender that Josh Frenier, who tripped up himself. Five minutes left in the game. Cedar High's in big business. Got a oh. quick score update from Candy View from our producer. 2014 for the Falcons. They still lead the Hurricane Tigers. Looks like Peter's going to go 2-0 against uh, Washington County Schools tonight. 41 yards on the pass reception. 17th first down. Redmond, as you mentioned, Tim, in business. First and goal from the four inside five. Miller's second catch of the half. Three receivers to the right. Gower is lower running back. Blackner in motion. Guess who? Mike Gower running left side. He's not in. No signal yet. But Coach Peacock says, that's okay. 71, Paul Fisher, <laughs> one of the monsters out there, met him and brought him down. Second and goal from the two, and the thing that would be nice as far as a Cedar fan. Let Mike... 
flat, wide to the right side. He's going to go option right and say Mike Gower. Touchdown, Gower off to the right side. Well, so with 3.57 to play, the Redmond team impressive 74-yard drive. And Gower has carried the ball 13 times here in the half. Really is the go-to guy, the cha-ching money guy, and making things happen. Now the Redmen up 27-7 to try the PAT. And, you know, this Dixie High offense, we've seen them do some pretty effective things, but I'm just about saying the doors door starting to close, huh? Hanson is perfect three for three. He's back to try the PAT. Under that's pressure, blocked. that's blocked. Straight up the middle was number 18. That's Bowler. It's Brian Wilson. Straight up the middle, Hanson had no chance. So the PAT is no good. The Redmen lead 27-7, and we'll be back with a minute with the Redmen kickoff here on Talk Radio 590. 57 is all that stands in the way of the Redmen's first victory on the season. Andrew Hanson, another squibber. It'll come to an up man, and I'm not sure what number. That's number five, Frainer. He'll bounce to the right side. Griffith knocks him out of bounds at the 41 or 2. First and 10 for the uh, Flyers from there. Got to think Coach Peacock has been telling his defensive backs, I want name, rank, serial number, gum flavor, shoe size. Just don't let those guys get behind him. First and 10 from the 42. Redmen have got to play a little defense. You know the Flyers are going to throw it. They've had success in Tim, I think, moving through the air as uh, Horlocker has had a good second half. Adams has caught four for a bunch of yards, and, and Horlocker has completed six of, of ten in the half. Flyers will bring three receivers to the left side. Adams is far right. He's running a deep post. Look matter. out. And there's through. one, two, three, four, five Redmond players. Gower, Griffith, Romney, a host of Redmond right there. Horlocker goes down. And, you know, I think that was a case where they were trying to do it all at once, and I'm not sure that that's what Mike Smith needs to be doing right now. They've got time. They've, they've got a little time. Get those 10, 15, 20-yard pickups that they can get pretty quick. I guess the problem, Tim, you got three minutes, you got three scores you got to come up with, too. He's looking for a home run, I think. Same formation, three receivers to their left side. Adams on a quick post across the middle. One more time, in and out of his hands, incomplete. And if uh, the, uh, Dixie, the, uh, the, the Dixie receiving squad drops back to what they were doing in the first part of the game, that's track of that for us either. How many? He's saying seven. What's up with that, Dale? <laughs> Good job. Keep us posted. I, or shotgun formation. Three receivers. Locker under pressure. Has some time. Delivers oh. the ball. Platt with the near interception at midfield. In and out of his hands. Incomplete. Stops the clock. 3-0-3. We're off on uh, their first Region 9 away game to take on the Panthers. From okay. my view, Coach Arslaney has got a pretty good squad down there. Okay, all people who think this is a punt, stand up now. <laughs> Snap high over Horlocker's head. He may try to get it off. He just kicks it out of bounds. And, and he kicks it dead straight out of bounds to Redmond. I'll tell you what, that was, uh, I guess, a good play getting rid of it. But they're in great position. Oh, yeah at the 15 or so. And, and what, was Horlocker hoping for a roughing call? I just think he wanted to get rid of it rather than let the Redmond pick it up and go in for a score. Heating system, they do a darn good job at a reasonable price. Rolling rubber, 256 West, 200 North, Cedar City. High formation, gonna give to Gower. As Page is in at the, full, at the tailback spot, they give to Mike, but the penalty flag comes in before the play can get underway. Got to think that's going to be legal procedure on the red guys, minus five, second, first, and 15. Only their fifth penalty. They've been hit uh, for a couple of big uh, penalties. To grind this thing out on the ground. High formation. Page is in the tailback spot. Give to Gower straight up the middle. Mike's got a seam, and he'll be down near the 10-yard uh, line. So give Gower about 10 on that play. You know... He's just a little short of that, maybe making about eight. They'll mark it down at the, uh, looks like 13. Andrew Hansen checks in. Eight yards on the running play. Right now the Redmen would love to take time. 2.24 to go. They'll send Hansen wide to the left side. Split the wishbone. Page is in the wing to the right side. Gower is the running back, fullback spot. Oliver should wait for the official to count. Then they'll go with it. Give to Gower straight up the middle. Mike going in. He's touchdown. 
Touchdown, Redmond from 13 yards out. Nail that door shut. Redmond have got their first win of the season. With the exclamation point at 2.06, it's 33-7 for the Red Dudes. And uh, they'll pick up region victory number one of the season. Last we heard, Canyon View was on the way to a win. So two Washington schools come up north. Two Washington schools likely to go home with losses tonight, AC. You got to hand it one cedar bounces back. Canyon View doing a good job. I thought Hurricane was very tough. Obviously, it's only six point dim or a six point game out of Canyon View. Anything can happen here. It's done and sealed here. 33 7. Hanson trying to add on the PAT. Snap is good. The hold is good. The kick is good. Redmond leads 34 to 7. 206 to play. We'll be back with Ball Coach. And once upon a time, says you don't have to carry the other guys. You just got to knock them out of the way. And that's what the offensive line has done today. They have. And the defense has done a great job tonight, too. Trainer with the short kick. He'll bounce to the right side, run out of bounds at the uh, 45, 44 yard line. First and 10 flyers from there. We're a little quick out looking for number 84. That was who, Tim? Real quick. I got it. Dave Cronwell. And a Dixie man is down there. That, that one, looks of the like one of the Fisher yes, boys. Yes, it does. He's a little bit slow. He's back there at the uh, line of scrimmage. Brainer will scramble into Redmond territory at the 48-yard line. Give him nine yards on the pickups. Third down and one. And what does that mark tonight? The uh, biggest running play of the game for the Flyers, huh? Yeah, they're still not out of negative yards, but it is the biggest. To 0 and 1. High formation for Horlock here. He'll toss this time to Diaz, running wide to the right side. Redmond with a lot of second teamers, it looks like. And he spins away from one, still on his feet, over the 40, near the 35, 37-yard line. Give him 11 on the running play, and first down Flyers. Formation for the Flyers, slot to the left side, wind the clock instead of a minute, down to 45 seconds to go. Horlocker under center. Long count, going to give to the fullback straight up the middle. No room to run. Is that number 51? See if Dad's standing. Yes, it is. He signals Keith Gilbert in on the tack. <laughs> tell you what, we're getting, spot, we're getting spotters from all over the place. Beck with a yard or two. It'll bring up second down. And we have a score update from our producer quickly. 2014, so Candy View gets a win tonight. All right, final Canyon View first. They're in top. Well, one and zero in region. Going to give to Diaz straight up the middle. There's not going to be much gain. Maybe a yard. That's going to be the ball game. The Redmen have done what they wanted to do. They knock off the Flyers here in their first region game. 34-7 is the final. And congratulations to head coach Todd Peacock and the Cedar High Red. I'm sure this is an excited squad out there tonight. I'm sure there's a Great deal of relief getting this uh, first win of the season. But more importantly, it puts them up 1-0 in region play. And uh, even though we had to drive 2,000 miles and saw some pretty country, those games roll are meaningless at this point. Yeah, they don't count. It's 1-0 in region. That's what you want up next for the Redmen. A trip to Pineview to take on the Panthers. That's next week. But uh, once again, congratulations. Final score here, 34-7. to Let's step aside for two minutes. We'll be back and look at the uh, scoring and the individual statistics here. Once again, the Redmond 34, the Flyers 7. Not too long ago, a lady came into Gem Jewelers and Cedars. They had not a win on the season yet. They just did the old-fashioned thing, Tim. They ran it down Dixie's throat. They were able to get some key plays. Mike Gower, big game. 178 yards for the uh, fullback tonight. And uh, this is so reminiscent of the Cedar High teams we've seen in the years past. Uh, your fullback coming out of that wishbone. And uh, it was funny, I remember the discussion you and I had going to Vernal that we hadn't seen the wishbone occurrence and we wondered if we were going to see it at the uh, Uinta game. And I think we both kind of looked at each other and said, I bet you we don't see it until Dixie. And boy, Dixie saw a lot of it. They saw a lot of it and it, was, didn't, it wasn't what they wanted to see. Mike Gower ran very well when they bottled him up. Jeff ran the option well. He goes for, uh, I think, the first score of the ball game. Uh, in the second quarter was Jeff Oliver's and after a turnover by the Flyers on an interception. Was that 53 yard scamper as I recall? 53 yard uh, running play, 654 in the second quarter. Redmond leads 7 to nothing at that point. Uh, the Redmond force a couple of punts. They take over at the uh, Flyer 30 after a beautiful return on a punt by Junior Bonner. 
and it took the Redmond one play, a 30-yard pass play to Andrew Hansen at the 154 mark. Hansen also added the PAT, and at halftime, it was 14-0, Redmond on top. Looking into the second, and at halftime, the, Red, the Flyers, Tim, did exactly what you wanted to do. Flyers go five plays, 74 yards to open the second half of play. A 17-yard pass play from Horlocker to Adams. Horlocker added the PAT, and at the 931 mark, the Flyers were on the board 14-7. to But not to be outdone, the Redmen take their opening possession, second half. They march good old Cedar style. Yeah. 14 plays, 69 yards. Mike Gower gets his first touchdown of the night. A one-yard run at the 202 mark. Yeah, so. As the Redmen took seven and a half minutes to get the score back. They led 21-7. And that was an important stat, too, Alan, looking back at that much time and what a controlled offense Cedar High had out there. And, of course, this was, I want to say that was near the time when Jeff O was getting a little banged up out there. And Gower went to work and uh, just made things happen. But the nice thing was they took a grundle of time off the clock and uh, started putting Dixie in a position where they had to hurry things up. The Redmen then take over on downs as they force the Flyers, uh, I think it was five and out, as the Flyers connected on a 23-yard pass play, four straight incompletions. The Redmen take over their 26, and then another good old-fashioned Cedar running or uh, offensive series. Ten plays, 74 yards. Mike Gower gets his second score of the evening from two yards out. PAT was no good. It was blocked with a good push up the middle. It was 27-7. Redmen were on top. Dixie was forced to punt on a three and out, and the Redmen go, actually that was an interesting bad snap. The Redmen go two plays, 15 yards was the uh, drive. 13-yard run by Mike Gower for his third score. PAT was added. It was 34-7. That's where the final was. you got to tip your hat off to one, Mike Gower, two to the Redmen offense. Dale Loveland is up here, and if you have a question, jump right in. Okay. But, Dale, we've been dogging your defense just a little bit. i got to tell you that. But you did a great job tonight. Well, our defense deserved to be dogged, but we threw in a game plan for Dixie that they've had their four wide receivers. We put in a quarter blitz with Jesse Griff and Ryan Gray, and hit, he led the kid up a few times. We made a few adjustments, decided to come with some blitzes and try to rush him a little bit. and They dropped a few balls on us which is good, but our defense played really well today. It looked like when Jesse came on that first blitz that uh, Horlocker had no idea where he was. That really set him back on his heels. It made the Fisher boys at the tackle say, hey, wait a minute, some little guy's coming by me. i got to do something. There's a couple of penalties. Uh, great job defensively. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. And Jesse, we put that in this week for him because he's so quick there. And he, he comes in, and there's nobody else to pick him up because the tackles have to take the end. So that first time, the Dixie quarterback didn't see him, and he, he hit him hard, which we tried to set a tone right there and maybe try to rush his passes a little. One thing I've also got to sing the signal out, you're not only a defensive coordinator, I believe you're the offensive line coach, and that line did a great job against those big guys up front. Uh, yeah, we, we told them, you know, they're big and they're quite physical kids. They're not the speediest kids ever. So we told them to stay low and dry, you know, and... They, they came out and played. Now you and I talked, and with, you got to remember, we're on the radio. There might be a few folks listening, but when Jeff Oliverson goes down, I know your heart had to go right up into your, your throat because we can't afford to lose him in that quarterback spot. He's really the heart and soul of that team, I believe. Oh, there's no doubt, and that's why we play him defensively, you know. And It, it might have been a mistake, and yeah, my heart did sink when he was hurt, and I'm glad he got up. You know, his knee's a little sore. Um, you know, we'll have to take a good look at that and see if we want to continue and playing him on defense. But he's a good leader on defense as he is on offense, so we'll take a hard look at it. I know you probably didn't hear the final score, Canyon. You came up with a victory, 20-14 over Hurricane. I'm, I'm glad to see Canyon View win. You know, they're good kids. I'm, I'm friends with their coaching staff, and uh, if they win, that's just another win for the Cedar City area. And Canyon View, I'm, I'm glad they win. They won. One thing coming up, I guess, uh, as coaches, you've got to be happy about the win. Your kids played very well, but you can't rest on that. Up next, uh, Pineview. Yeah, Pineview's going to be tough. They always play us hard. Uh, they, we barely beat them last year. They'll come out and ready to play, and like you said, we need to stay focused, come out ready to play every week. From here on out, it's a tough region this year. One thing, too, real signaling out, number 20. Uh, Tim, was it 187 or 178 yards? 178 for Mike, uh, third week in a row over 100. Um, you know, we came into the season wishing we had Dave Marchant back, but 
that per them wishes have gone wayside. Gower runs. He's, he's a great runner. He runs hard, and he's, he's going to get yards for us. I, no I've doubt. given him a nickname, Coach. Tell him I'm calling him Money. Money? Yeah. All right. We'll call him Money. That's a good name. All right. Well, Coach, thanks for coming up. I know this isn't your favorite thing, but great job. Good luck in the upcoming week. All right. Thanks, Al, Tim. All right. Coach Loveland joining us tonight here on the postgame show. 34-7 victory for the Redmond. We'll step aside for our final break for our Cedar High Redmond boosters. We'll check the individual stats and be back on Talk Radio 590. Jackson Dry Cleaners have been pleased. <laughs> the big thing, 34-7. Redmond are victorious. Yeah. First region game, first home game, I'm, obviously. I'm, I'm saying um because I look at the, the uh, I, don't, I don't want to dog anybody. But you look at the Flyers' ground game tonight, minus 27 yards, and you kind of go, that's not going to do too much. That's not going to do too much. The defense played awful good, and the Redmen offensively, after a slow start, at least from what we've seen, rebounded very nicely. Uh, Mike Gower leading the way, 170-some-odd yards. In fact, he carries the ball 21 times for the Redmen tonight for that 170 yards. 14 carries for Jeff O in the running game, a carry for Blackner. That was the first play of scrimmage tonight. Seven carries for Jesse Griffin. He got 30 yards. Junior carried the ball twice, actually three times. And uh, that can't be right. I guess he did. Lost uh, two yards for net. And, and uh, so the uh, Redmen end up with 305 yards on the ground. That's impressive. That's right back to the way the Redmen have been in years past. And it's nice to see him rebound very nicely here tonight. And Jeffo not exactly chopped liver through the air tonight. He completes six of 17, but had some big strikes. Uh, a 14-yard pass to Junior Bonner, a 30-yard touchdown pass to Hanson. A catch goes to Platt, a couple go to Miller, including a 41-yard gain. Jeff uh, completes the 6 of 17. His receivers come up with 97 yards of reception through the air for uh, the, the Redmond tonight. Bonner catches uh, one catch for 14, the catch for Hanson. 30-yard catch for uh, James Platt for a 10-yard pickup. Two catches for 48 yards from uh, Miller. Griffin had one catch that was behind the line for a five-yard loss. Seven yards for the rim through the air tonight. Now, I'm having here, my friend, it was pretty easy to end up the ground game for the uh, Dixie Flyers. Well, really, Beck so we got the a, only one who <laughs> carried the ball, and he's going the wrong way. Yeah, Beck uh, carried. Actually, he, uh, Diaz actually ended up with 10 yards positive running for the, uh, uh, the Flyers tonight. Frenier actually also carried the ball for one time in a nine-yard game, but Horlocker got dumped on his butt four times for 34 yards and losses, 12 yards losses for five carries for running back Beck. Now, the problem I'm having is trying to get all the receiving yards. Let's just put it this. Horlocker put the ball up. Now, this would this would get you coached for about three weeks. Horlocker puts the ball up 35 times tonight. Well, I've seen Jeff O do that a couple of times. And they complete 15. The big gun for the receiver tonight was Adams. He caught the ball for uh, eight times, and uh, looks like he's going to be up about 160 yards in reception. That was really the only damage offensively that uh, the Flyers could get going tonight. So all things have been answered. The defense came to play. They did a great job holding the Flyers to only seven points, and that was an opening second quarter or second half drive. The Redmen do everything well, 34-7, only turn it over one more time, and that's been the key, I think,